This is the Loyal BBN Fan Show. And we have our decision. Decision has been made. Coach Calipari will, and I repeat, will remain at Kentucky for another year. My question is, my question is, how do you feel about it? Do you feel like the do you feel like the um, the best decision was made? Do you feel like this right here was the right thing um, for for Kentucky to do? Uh, you know, I think a lot of people knew or had a feeling that this right here was um, was going to happen. It was, I think it was just a matter of time, and um, the the decision was made for for Calipari to stay at Kentucky. So the so the question is. Are you okay with that? Can is this is this something that um, is this something that we can get behind? Is this something that we can say this is okay? Um, I think I'm having some some issues with my Wi-Fi. Something don't look right, um, guys. Please excuse me for this. I'm going to um, yeah, I'm having some problems, but we're gonna keep rolling with this. Um, like, how do you guys feel about this? I'm not going to be able to see a lot of comments because for some reason, everything is not working right. Um, so um, I guess it is working. I guess I can see uh, comments. Hey, Mr. Jilla, thank you so much for you. Always the first one that always can seem to jump on and say hello. So thank you so much, Ms. Ashby. I appreciate it very much. Um, so how are you guys feeling about this? Is this something that the fan base can rally behind? I mean, at the end of the day, do do we really, really, really have a choice? Isn't it something that we just got to get on board with because it's because it's happening? Um, you know, is is just this um, um, we just got to live with it. There's nothing that we can do. Last night, he's even admits that he has to change the one and done. Yeah, so you know, is 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 this is something that we're just gonna have to embrace and see that um, that that we got to make the best of the situation. I mean, is it is it the worst thing in the world? Time will only tell. Was him and his talk show a lot of talk? Was he genuinely understanding that he has to make changes in order for the program to move in a, in a much positive direction? Um, so, um, you know, this is, this is going to be interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see just which Calipari – we're going to see, is he going to be the person that is genuinely wanting to make change because he understands that the way he's doing business, the way that he's going about things is not the right way to go. Uh, or is he just going to be the Calipari that I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do things my way. Um, is he, is, is he going to get somebody on, on staff that's going to help him to achieve the goals of, of, making Kentucky stand in the college basketball that he claimed that it was when he first came, or is he just going to just continue to just be Cal and just do what Cal does? Um, uh, we would mind out when basketball season. Um, so we, we just, we have to, we're like everyone else. We're like the whole nation waiting to see. I heard only Ulysses and Welch stay. Wow, everybody's he's going. Everybody's current. Wow. Okay, Marcus. I, I'm. I'm. Let me see if I can do this. I'm not sure if it's working or not. Um, I'm not able to. I, I would put you up there as a um, as a comment, Marcus, um, if I could. But Marcus says uh, he heard that only Ulysses and Welch stays. He's going to get real of Antigua. Wow. Um, okay, I guess unless he's going for another coaching job. But the thing of it has to be is. Can can Cal make the necessary changes? Can he adapt to the new age of college basketball? You know, no no disrespect to the age, no disrespect to um, the age discrimination, but you know things change. When we was coming up, we didn't have cell phones, so now you know we have the we have the privilege of getting to know cell phones. The young people they don't understand what a pager is. You know, they don't understand what it was to look on the. Uh, um, you know, we. They don't understand what it feels to have a little piece of device on your hip and somebody's hitting you up and then you got to go to a payphone. 
to to call him back. So he's going to have to adapt. He's going to have to adapt to this change. Um, my my hopes is is that he brings in somebody that he would actually listen to. I'm really hoping he brings in Kenny. Maybe some people don't feel the same way, but you know, I thought Kenny did a really good job with Cal with our bigs when he was here. So I'm really hoping um, that I'm really hoping that he can do whatever it takes for the betterment of, of the Kentucky Wildcats uh, to do, you know, pick great Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, uh, Wayne Gretzky, Babe Ruth, all these people had, had people in their life that, that spoke to them, no matter how long they've been in the, in, in the business or what they was doing, they all had people with, within their corner that was helping them to evolve. And it didn't matter. You know, it didn't matter. They all had somebody. And Cal is no different. Cal is no exception to the rules. Cal needs somebody that he can listen to, somebody that can ground Cal, someone that can that can get Cal out of his stubbornness, somebody that can tell Cal that it's okay to make the changes. Uh, you know, it's okay to go out and get some older guys for the basketball team. Um, it's it's older to to focus and and get back to the defensive scheme, to defensive like Kentucky used to be in the past. It's okay for these type of things to happen. We just have to be willing to go out, um, you know. So we just, you know, we just got to hope that Calipari is ready to come in this year. And today, like Calipari should not wait. Calipari should not wait until tomorrow to start implementing changes. If he's going to imp implement changes, it needs to start right now. I get it. But it's more than life out there than basketball. You got to have a life. You got to find balance in life and everything like that. You really do. Um, but it's, 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 it's all about, it's, it's all about following that balance. And you understand that, Hey, you have to win here at Kentucky or Kentucky's not a place for you. Winning is not, you know, being average is not, is not an option here at Kentucky. And you have to coach, you have to coach like you're not trying to be average, like you're trying to be the standard of college basketball. And you have to have a mindset that you're willing to do that. And if the greats, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, if the greats was willing to listen to somebody else, if the greats was willing to be led, if the greats was, was, was willing to take advice, then Calipari cannot be an exception to the rule. He has to get people in his corner that can help him. You know, it's a lot of people out there who says, OK, you know what? I will continue to support Cal. I would I would give Cal one more benefit of the doubt, one more opportunity to say, OK, let's get this right. Let's make this possible, and let's get Kentucky back to the mountaintop, and that's winning ball games. That's protecting home courts. That's getting past the first weekends. That's making it to the Final Four. That's setting yourself up for opportunity to win another national championship. That that's what we're looking for here at Kentucky. It's it's not unrealistic for us to ask that. Some fan bases might be like, "Well, you guys are spoiled. Well, you guys are doing this." Well, that's just that's just the that's the history, that's the atmosphere of Kentucky basketball. And anything less than that is just as a fan base, we just can't accept it. And we're just asking Cal to understand how important this is for us. How important it is for the fan base that we get back to the standards of playing Kentucky basketball. John Calipari, I would like to thank five families. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I think Cal. James says, I think, uh, I believe Cal can get the job done. My biggest thing is I think he needs to, to do is go away with trying to win the, the mostly, win with mostly freshmen and more on winning titles instead of NBA breeding count. We do. We have to, uh, Cal has to understand. I mean, like, big time players are not coming to Kentucky, All are not all coming to Kentucky just so they think they can make it to the NBA. Other teams are getting five star players that are doing the one and done. It's not just here at Kentucky anymore, Cal. I, I get it. You started it with John Wall, Boogie Cousins. You started it with all those guys. You got the trend started. Everyone thought you was crazy, and then everybody got on board. But even things like that are changing. It's okay now. You you don't have to go out and, and, and feel like you got to get a plother of filling your whole roster next year with eight or nine five-star players. It's okay for you just, just to get a couple – Go get you some some experienced players. Put the put everything together as a mixture. Make sure that those guys are able to gel in with the with the senior guys. That the, that those guys can be mentors to them, and that those guys can pull them up by the boots and says this is un this behavior not showing up 
not being mentally ready is unacceptable at this at this particular point in college basketball. You got to come to play every single play, and that's what we need. And I hope John Calipari is okay with that. Um, it looks like the recruiting class, besides bringing in freshmen, should be done with Carter Knox. Now let's just go see what see what we can get from the Western um, uh, from the transfer portal. See if we can get some guys come in that are physically ready, that are mentally ready, emotionally. I mean, and and it's 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 to be mentally and physically ready. It's it's so it's so important to a ball team to make it from game to game to game to understand how important it is to come out every night and play like you're trying to win a ball game. And that's what we need here at Kentucky. And I really hope we'll be, he would be University Six. I do I, like I haven't. I'm gonna go back and watch some of his film. Um, Cliff um, uh, Omar. Uh, Rui, sorry about that if I butchered his name, but he, I mean, he looks the part. You bring him in here with Cyril, could be good. It really could be good. He looks the part. We just didn't, unfortunately, we just didn't have, we had long guys, but we just didn't have guys that looked like they was ready to play college basketball. They just didn't have that physique. And sometimes it's just about looking like you can be out there, like you should be out on the floor. And that's the kind of guys that Cal needs to go out there and get, guys who want to come here and really, truly want to play the game of basketball. So let's see if Cal can do this. I'm giving Cal the benefit of the doubt. I hope you guys are going to – well, not all of you are. A lot of you is giving Cal the benefit of the doubt that he can make it happen this year. So let's just see what happens. You know, at this particular point, what do we have to lose? We done lost to St. Um, St. Peter's. We done lost to Oakland. What more do we have to lose? If one more year we don't get it done, then I think it's safe to say, Calipari, thank you for your services here at Kentucky. We appreciate what you did. We appreciate what you mean to the state of Kentucky. But we're going to go in a different direction. And even Cal should be okay with that if the results are just not – that the that the results are not being translated into wins and not just wins but important wins, when it, especially when it matters the most. And that's for us getting past – the second, the, the first weekend. Um, do you guys have any expectations as far as like, do we need to make it past the first weekend? Is making it to the Elite Eight? Someone said, someone sent me a text and said, maybe my standard of is, can we win the SEC championship tournament? And can we at least make it to the Elite Eight? And for that person, they actually said, that's good enough for them. Because just doing those two things, we showed that we're headed back in the right direction. And they sent me that by texting the Loyal BBN text line at 270-220-0994, and they gave me their thoughts the same way you can also. So we just got to just see what happens right here. Um, you know, I give them one more chance. I mean, people, people are on the end of their seats. People are wanting to see just what Calipari has in store next. Can he turn this program back around? Can he put the excitement? I mean, look, the fan base was excited this year. I think we had a squad, a team that was fun to watch. They had character. They had people that they had dudes that can shoot the basketball. We just like defense. And I think the biggest thing that Calipari, if he doesn't do anything else for right now into the season, his whole thing should be set on we will be the best defensive team in the nation next year if that's the last thing that i do at kentucky i will leave this program on top defensively and that's what we got to focus on and we got to get people around us and you cows got to get the guys to buy in that this is not high school anymore this is not aau when you come here at this level you play defense or you set over with me or you go somewhere else because not playing defense is not an option anymore. This is a must. There's no this, this is not negotiable. I'm 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 setting the I'm setting the law and the law can't be broken. Play defense or you set over with me. Period. I would search my bench for the five guys that want to play defense consistently hard every single ball game and those guys would be the one that, that's on the floor and we will figure everything else out as we go, but you will play defense or you cannot play basketball here at Kentucky. And it starts at the top with Calipari. 
demanding that this is how we play basketball or I don't care how good you are. I don't care what kind of accolades you got. I don't care what you did before coming to Kentucky. If you're not playing defense, you're not playing basketball for me here at the University of Kentucky. Um, Heather says, not sure how to digest this yet. Thank you for your live post. Please mention Kentucky basketball. Um, Kentucky basketball is, you know, let's play ball. Um, oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. Kentucky baseball. Misread that. Uh, yeah, Kentucky baseball. Uh, I've kind of been, I'm going to start keeping up with those guys a whole lot more. Um, now the basketball season's over. I have, I didn't do a whole lot last year with baseball, but I, you know, our, our, our Wildcat baseball team, they need our support. Um, hopefully this year they can get over the hump. I think Coach Minjiong, I think he's on his last string too. They got to get it done or, 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 or it's just not going to happen. Uh, hope I got his name right. And I hope he's still at the one name. That's a shame. I should have never said that. Uh, without no baseball. Yeah. That's my fault, Heather. Uh, uh, second longest elite eight, elite eight drought in UK history. We got to get back. Um, so University Six is uh, is that okay? Uh, would that be good enough to you if Kentucky can make it to the Elite Eight? Even though we get if we get beat at the Elite Eight, will that be suffice for you to say okay? Maybe Cal's taking this program in the right way. Is it too much? I mean, is it too high expectations for us to say? Is this too high expectations for us to say it's either Final Four or bust? Um, you know, is it Final Four or bust? Is it Elite Eight or bust? Uh, what's your standard? Everyone, we all have our own standards, and it's always good to uh, it's, it's it's always good to to hear what you guys are saying. I kind of wish Coach Cal would coach the guys like Stoops. Um, can you elaborate on that a little bit more? Uh, we got to get to the Final Four next year, nothing less. See, I mean, it's everyone has their own thoughts of what it's going to take to them. I think as a group, collectively, as a big group nation, one thing that we all, one thing that we all can agree on is one thing. We got to win and we got to win next year. And we don't want to hear all the talk of what it is we're going to do. Just whatever it is you think you want to tell us that you're going to do, just let us see that in the translation when, when our guys are on the floor playing, playing high quality basketball winning the games that they're supposed to win, not not letting some team like like UNCW um, come into Lexington and beat us, not going on the three-game losing streak at Rupp Arena. These are the kind of things that the fan base will not, and I mean absolutely not accept. And it's unacceptable at, at, at Kentucky to win, to lose three straight home games. That is not good, and we was terrified if we was gonna, if we was going to happen to lose a fourth game in a row. So that's the kind of stuff that we just can't happen again. These are small things, Cal. These are not things that we're asking you to go out and just change the world overnight. These, these are simple standards at Kentucky that must be upheld. Uh, otherwise, somebody else has to come in and, and, and keep the history going if you cannot get the job done. Uh, I think SEC championship game and a deep tournament run is a huge turnaround. I think so, too. I would love to get to Elite Eight. Heck, I'm for me. Let's just make it out the first weekend. Let's just say Kentucky's still in the bracket. Kentucky's still in the bracket. They going to the next weekend. Yeah, you know, even that would be a good feeling. We haven't we haven't been able to say that for a long time. We haven't. Let's just let's just Cal just get in there and just put together the best squad you can. Get the coaches around you. Get the people who's not going to be a yes person. Who's going to, yes, coach, yes, Cal, no. Get somebody that's going to get in your face and tell you, Cal, you're wrong. Cal, you got to do this different. And if you can't do this different, then why am I here for? Why are you bringing me in for if you're not going to value my opinion? I'm here, and I'm not going to be your yes boy. I'm going to tell you how it should be. Listen or don't listen, but you will hear from me. And it's, it's up to you to decide what's more important, your ego or the Kentucky Wildcats. 30 Elite Eight and 85 NCAA tournaments. It's time for us to get back, man. Team like Stoops gets the best out of his players and maybe some. And not, yeah, Coach Stoops doesn't have a team. He doesn't have a team full of five-star players. He only has a very small amount. You can count them on one or two hands at that. And he gets the best out of his players. He's putting people into the league. And those guys don't come in with a lot of accolades, with a lot of people knowing their names. He goes in and he gets the guys who want to come in and fight. 
um, Stoops get the guys that want to come in and want to get dirty. Stoops gets the guys that come in that nobody wanted and they got something to prove. See, when you get a person with it that 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 nobody wanted them, that everyone told them that you was too small, that you wasn't good enough, you wasn't you know for alignment, you're not big enough, you know you don't have a good you don't have good techniques, you can't fit into our program. Coach Stoops goes out and gets those guys, and those guys they come and they get better as they stay as they stay and they stick around and they buy into the system. Our guys, well, the thing of it is that well, how we do in this day and time is, well, it's just so in time now. Um, the thing to do is to come for one year and I automatically have to go. Otherwise, I'm looking at being a bust. I'm looking at being in someone, see, see, he failed. See, he wasn't good enough. See, we got to get past that. And Cal's got Cal's to teach that from day one. If you don't have the year that you have, it's okay to come back to college. It's not a bad idea. If it's meant for you to get to the NBA, I will do everything in my power to get you there. But until the time is ready, stay put, grow, develop mentally and physically. And when it's time for you to cross over and go to the NBA, you can make that happen. And I really believe that. So let's just see what happens next year. Let's get behind Calipari, um, you know, and let's just see what happens. Tubby Smith was the same way. Uh, a player like Chuck Hayes comes to mind. Got the max out of that dude. You just – players just got to – players really just got to come here and they just got to say to themselves, I'm here to get better. I'm here to develop as a player. I don't want to go to the NBA just for two to three years. I want to go to the NBA and have a long – and have a long career. I want to go and stay for nine, 10, 11 years in the NBA. How do you do that? You you do that by some players can go do that straight out of straight out of college and only give them one only one year in college. Some guys develop, just develop. It's not the worst thing in the world. It, it it's just not. It's okay, man. The stigma is if I'm a failure if I have to do more than one year in college. I'm not that great. So let's just, um, let's just see how we can make changes. See how we can do better. See how we can improve. And see how things can can continue to trend upward. Things can't trend downward anymore. We got to trend up. Not just straight across. Straight across is just showing that Kentucky is average. We need to go up. And that's hope Cal is ready. And, um, you know, all the um, – we got to trend up. All the blame on the AD now. Is it on the AD because um, – is it on him because he's because he's choosing to bring Cal back when the school's going to start with the Cal mess? How you treat people comes comes back on you. Oh, I'm sorry. When the school's going to start looking to be um, put in the blame on the a on the AD. I mean, at this particular point, the decision has been made. Uh, Alden, um, thank you always for um, for joining in. I really really appreciate it. Um, the decision has been made. There's nothing that we can do. We can set her as a fan base and we can continue to complain or we can just believe that maybe, that just maybe we can have, we can get things back on track the way that they're supposed to be. And we'll see what happens. It's a different generation by way of, of consequences. Kids just don't, kids just don't believe. They just, they're pride. You know, well, I just balled out in the American in the All American game with so and so, and we were just balling together. And now he's got to go on to the NBA, and now I, I got to stay behind. He he's got to stay behind. Pride, it, it's just what it is. When I when I went off the boot camp, and I don't tell this story very often, I actually wrote about it in my book. Um, I wrote about this story in my book about my experience in boot camp when I was, you know, when I first joined the Navy and I joined the Navy with, with a classmate and we went on the buddy program. So he, we, we got the boot camp. We took tests. He passed his test. I failed my test. So they took me and they moved me back and my pride was hurting. Long story short is I got moved back a couple of more times. And a lot of guys that I started out with, a lot of guys that I was with, I was able to I was able to pick myself up. I was able to take my pride and put it to the side and raise my head up. And I was able to say to myself, I'm going to finish what I started. 
and I was able to finish 20 years in the military. And a lot of guys that I fin that I started with, those guys, they didn't finish. They only did a couple of years and they got out. I was determined. And that's what we have to do um, at Kentucky right now. That's what Calipari has to do. And that's what he got to get the guys to buy in and to believe that, hey, it's, it's okay if you fail right now. It's still tomorrow. We can still get this right. Unfortunately, Cal's has a very short lease on him. It's not long. It's about this. His lease is about this. It's about this short. So you got to go win this year, or we gotta, or we gotta move on with something else. Um, I don't really think, um, you know, I don't really think that if if you can't get it done, we got to go with someone else. Microwave thinking. That's society now. Everything, everything's got to be. Um, everything's got to be right now. And that's the same concept with the players. I got to come to college for six, seven months, eight months, and then I got to go off to the NBA. I, I just got to go. I got to go get it today. Well, that's the, that's the mentality. That's what, um, that's just how things work out. And that is pretty much the bottom line, but I hope Calipari is ready to come in. Um, like it. That's a, um, a consideration and metric like it or not. It is. It, it really is. That is exactly how it is. And that's something that just has to be, that's something that just has to be starts with what's name. I just talked to my daughter tonight and my daughter's for her AAU. She's, um, she's probably going to start point guard. And I talked to her how important it is. She was telling my wife, Hey, the, the girls, they don't want to, they don't want to listen. They don't want to. And I said, you know what, as, as, as a point guard, you have to demand, you have to demand by your leadership that these girls, they get it together and that they take every single practice like it's supposed to. If you've been playing basketball for a few years, it's time for you to step up and it's time for you to lead the way that you're supposed to lead. And I said, otherwise, don't complain when the girls are not doing what they're supposed to do. you got to take ownership as a point guard of your team. I said, every great team has a great point guard. And if, that, and if you're trying to go play for the University of Kentucky, which she wants to play for Kentucky when she gets out of school, you got to lead. You got to be that leader. And um, and if, if that doesn't happen, then you got to look in the mirror at your own self. And that's what Cal has to do moving forward. If things are not going the way you want it to, then Calipari, you have to look in the mirror and see how you can make the changes that can help make the Kentucky Wildcats the team that we all know that they could be if they have the right coach. And I know you're tired of t hearing people tell you, Cal, you're getting out coach every single ball game. That is what we don't want to hear here at Kentucky. So thank you guys once again for joining in. This has been the Loyal BBN Fan Show. I am your host, Michael. If you have YouTube, please hit me up at the Loyal BBN Fan page on X, Big Mike, 2014-23. Thank all of you guys. We're all sitting back waiting to see what Calipari is going to do next year, see what changes he's going to be. We're all, we're all in on this in the sense of we're watching – we're watching just to see what happens. So go catch Coach Cal is your show. We can put this all behind us, and you can make things right by producing a team that is ready to play basketball.